All right, more videos from the R8. What up, gang? What's going on? Rob Level here. Today, I'm going to talk about things that every artist needs to know, which is one, how you can actually gain new fans. And more importantly than that, which people don't actually think about when they're trying to build a fan base is you don't only need to gain fans, Shibai. you need to guarantee and assure that you keep them. Because the longer somebody is a fan of you, the more they become a bigger fan of you and the more music that they like from you, which means that they have more music from you to share. And if they already liked you a whole bunch, they're going to share you even more. So as a person becomes a fan, 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 they then share you way more, right? A lot of people make the mistake of thinking, I only care about gaining fans. No, you really, trust me, need to worry about gaining fans and more importantly, keeping fans. And there's a couple reasons for that, even from a business perspective. I'm going to get into those three things in just a second. But from a business perspective, for you making money for the rest your career you have to consider what's considered the lifetime value of a customer and business is what it is okay it's the lifetime value and in this circumstance we're gonna say the lifetime value of a fan we're talking about somebody if they become a fan of you in year one okay they're gonna go to your show let's say they spend a hundred dollars on you a super fan will spend one hundred dollars on you of their money out of their pocket a year okay which means if you make somebody a fan but you don't entertain them and keep them as a fan for more than a year that person's value to you is only one hundred dollars but like i'm going to show you how to do in this video if you keep somebody a fan for to say five years which is feasible okay it's it's, it's, it's likely to happen if you're good that one person is now worth five hundred dollars so you're actually making five times the money if not more because they'll probably keep spending more and more money and gaining you more and more fans which makes it exponential that one person shows 10 people now you make five hundred dollars per person time per year if they're up there and these are these are this basic math these are numbers you need to know because it's very important it's very important you if you gain a fan you need to do what you can to sustain the fan you have to keep them Okay, and another reason is in business there's a term called customer acquisition cost, and that means how much money it actually costs for you as a music artist or as a business to ascertain to get a fan, to get that person to come to your page, to actually follow you, to like you. That costs X amount of dollar, and you have to make your money back on that person. Meaning, and they're not going to spend money on you yet. You have to keep them as a fan long enough to where you get rewarded and paid back for that person, and that typically happens probably at the three to six month mark. You have to make that person a fan of you, and that's when you'll start actually seeing, you'll start recouping the money that it costs you to gain the fan and the fan acquisition cost is going to depend on your marketing uh your viral ability um the word of mouth with certain songs that you release and a lot of other factors so let's get into this let's talk about the three ways that you're going to be able to entertain a fan let's do this all right let's talk about these three things that are they're they're so necessary they're so required and some of these might seem like common sense but i'm going to break them down because it's not really it doesn't seem to be common sense with a lot of artists they don't get this and i made these mistakes and that's what i'm telling you guys that's what smart rapper is right so the thing is here number one and i'm talking about you have to keep releasing music that's quality and i'm gonna give you a couple tips on this okay so here let's first let's talk about why you have to keep releasing music that's quality if you go away for more than three months because of the amount of oversaturation of music artists out there music on playlist and music out if you're not consistently releasing music that's quality you're gonna get overtaken and somebody else is gonna it's realistically will take your place i've taught millions of millions of rappers think about that not saying they're competition but they're competition when it comes to what slot you can get on a playlist if you make a good song and you get it placed on a playlist they're not going to keep that song on the playlist for three months are they they might keep it on there for two weeks maybe a month okay think about that really really think about that okay which means that you need to be churning out music enough and getting it back onto these playlists so that you're you're, you're consistently being seen by these same fans and they become super fans remember it takes seven times for somebody to see your name seven times for them to actually be like oh i know that name and then they can start fucking with you that's basic sales psychology that's you seven times okay and then they're like oh, i know that name and i have a whole other video on that if you want to go check that out so you have to be releasing music extremely regularly okay and another thing is that you have to make sure that and the music has to be quality so a tip that i'm going to give you for this entire strategy is you need to make sure that you have songs backed up you know how many songs i have backed up right now i went through the, it's so hot in here i went through so many songs i went through so many songs yesterday with my team and i was like damn i have so many songs backed up i, I don't care i need more I need more songs. And I want to say this, okay? If you guys know who Gary V is, Gary V posted my music on uh, one of his vlogs, which I was very thankful for. Thanks, Gary V. But when he did that, I was like, damn, thanks, man. I'm going to watch a bunch of your videos. So I watched a bunch of his videos and I focused on the music marketing ones. And I didn't really learn anything that I didn't know. Me and him think very similarly. And I was like, this is amazing. But he did say one thing. And I was like, that was just such a good point that I need you artists to hear. And I think he said this to Jesse Reyes, if you want to go look at this. He said, I don't understand why you're, and she's a big artist, okay? He said to her, I don't understand why you're not releasing a new song like every every two weeks, every month, every week even. He's like, because every time an artist releases a song, if they are, you know, they're gaining, number one, they're gaining fans. And number two, every time you release a song, it's like you going off the bat, right? I love this because he's talking about every time that song drops, it's another chance for you to hit a home run. You're swinging, right? And eventually, one of those songs is just gonna fucking go. Just gonna go. Release a song for a month, push the crap out of it for a month, release the next song, and do that for a month. 
I love that. Think about that. Every time you release a song, you're standing on the plate playing baseball. Every song you release is you three swings to get that into a freaking, you know what I'm saying? Let's say four swings because you have four weeks. One swing a week to really push that and get that going, right? And even if you don't hit a home run, you still might get a base. You still get my second base. And let's say they say you get four songs, now you get a home run. Now, now, you know what I'm saying? Now you went all the way around, you get a point, right? Every time you release a song. I love that. I love that. And what I love also is to think about a Michael Jordan quote. He said, I missed over 10,000 shots in my professional career in the NBA. I think he, he said he had missed dozens of game-winning shots when the when the team was really relying on him to make that shot. But it doesn't matter because it's not about how many misses you have. It's about how many times you make it. If you shoot, let's say that there's a target. The target is you getting a, a hit song. If you shoot at a target, let's think about a bullseye. Let's think about a gun. You could be terrible at shooting. But if you shot at that target a thousand times, pretend the bullets are songs, you don't think one of those bullets that you shoot is going to hit that bullseye. And that's why you need to be releasing songs very regularly every month on top of the fact that you need to consistently build momentum. And that's gonna bring me to number two. Number two is if you have a fan base at all, I don't care if you have 10 fans, you should be grateful you have 10 fans. That's where I was stripping. I have a bunch of fans and I was like, nah, this isn't enough. I need more, I need more fans. Cause da, 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 da. it doesn't matter, man. Those 10 people are riding with you. And those 10 people are gonna tell 10 more people. And those, then those 20 people are gonna become 50 people. And that's how you build a true fan base. So we appreciate your current fans, but you appreciate them by doing what I'm about to tell you. And that is one, like I said, releasing music regularly. And number two, you have to to daily or every other day be doing stories on all of your social media. People need, you need to be in their feed, they need to be seeing your face, and they need to be seeing that you're serious. If you're not sitting there, this is how you entertain, this is part of the entertaining part. You have to keep people entertained between the song releases while also entertaining and, re and promoting the music. So you do it in a form of both. I'm entertaining you while promoting this music. Like yeah, you like, you dance to your song, you dance to your song, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, or you're in the studio and you're doing something funny, but your song's playing in the background. You know, and 6 9 did that all the time, every time you made a video, your song was in the background. And there's a lot of benefits of that as far as like uh, getting, you know, the streaming and the, the background, getting the publishing and all the other things like that, whatever, every time the, the, the song played, whatever, whole nother video. But you need to make sure that you're doing this. And I'm telling you this because this is a mistake that I made. And this is a mistake that I see a lot of other artists making because they start blowing up. And what they don't do is they don't keep the audience entertained or they'll go for three weeks and then they'll stop posting. And they kind of seem to disappear off the map. So the person stops thinking about you. But if you keep them entertained for that four weeks in a row and that fourth week, you're like, hey, I got another song coming next week, guys. Get ready. Hey, and they keep watching your story. When that song drops, all those people who are watching your story know the song's coming and they're going to go check out the song. This is a huge mistake that I was making for, I've been making it because I'm too busy. But that's an excuse, right? I'm too busy. I need to be posting on my story more. So therefore, I made a bunch of content. I regularly make content. I scheduled time into my days and in my weeks to make sure I'm making more Instagram content, TikTok content, and content in general. YouTube content like this, okay? You have to be releasing content or people forget about you. And if they forget about you, they're gonna forget you having a song coming out. So just do a story. Schedule a time in your day every day when you just have five minutes, not even five minutes. What I want you to do is I want you to make sure, like, let's say you are on lunch at school or you're on lunch at work and it happens every day at 11.15 or 11.30. You should make it a habit and make it a note and a goal to yourself before I eat lunch every day I'm just gonna post one story hey what's up guys hope you're having a great day hey I hope you enjoy my new song too you know stay blessed blah 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 boom you're done that was like seven seconds that's that easy now that's not the content you're posting to your page but you're popping up in people who follow your story they're seeing your name even if they don't click and watch your story they see your name and when they see it enough what happens they'll watch it and they'll see the rest of your stories for the day the best bet is to make three times in your day to do this because obviously if they see the one at the end of the day they'll see the two prior ones first right so if you post right when you wake up say 7 a.m or whenever you wake up you're groggy like hey man i'm up early what's up grinding guys have a fantastic day i love y'all you know what i'm saying all right cool let's go right sleepy who cares 11 30 post another one right then when you get home from work or school or whatever you post another one you get three a day these are three opportunities for people who also get on on their own scheduled time of day right some people don't get on instagram until seven at night some people get on in the morning some people get on to school some people get on all day but these are chances for people who may not get on at that time of the day for you to jump to the top of their story feed and you're keeping people entertained they're seeing your name you're reminding them about your music and this is keeping your momentum going you have to entertain your fans okay you have to be posting now as far as content to post that's up to you but one thing that i'm going to start doing is i'm going to take my best lyrics that people don't even realize are like really fire crazy lyrics because maybe they hadn't heard the song but i'm gonna post them up in a quote it's gonna be like my lyrics 
quote, right? Because people tag me all the time with my lyrics. People do bar bar of the day, and it's all it happens to always be like my bar. And I'm like, this is great. I should start posting my lyrics as just a quote, like one or two lines, maybe maybe a uh, maybe a, a quatrain. Um, you know what I'm saying? Of ju- of just four bars, and that's there. And the people can see how lyrical you are. That's a piece of content that's showing you're an artist. Now that brings me to the third and final one that I really need you to understand. And a lot of people make this mistake. The mistake is that you say you're a music artist and you're pushing yourself as a music artist and you're probably releasing music, but nothing and nowhere on your page do you look like a music artist. If you're telling people you're a music artist, you need to show them and tell them you're a music artist. You can't be, you know, let's say that you're you're the type of guy that's like wants to chase girls and wants to do all these other things. So you dress real smooth and you're posting shirtless pictures on your stuff. Those things that you're doing, I see people do this all the time. Those decisions, unless you're going for girlfriends, which you're probably not, unless you're singing, because if you're rapping, that's not what you're doing. Those decisions, if you posting pictures of you looking preppy or those decisions of you looking dressed up for, for school to impress girls, is not your artist image. That's a different version of you that you are portraying in order to get the females to like you or to get somebody else to like you because you're trying to fit in over here you have to stop worrying about that stuff what you need to worry about what you need to be is be yourself how do you feel the most comfortable what clothes do you wear that makes you feel like a rapper those are the pictures you need to be posting on your instagram when i go to your instagram i don't want to see pictures of you and your girlfriend i don't want to see pictures of you and your friends hanging out unless your friends are rappers and you're you're tagging them because you're talking about rapping your instagram profile your twitter your tiktok all of your content needs to be based around the fact and show the world you are an artist if it doesn't say that i don't look at you like an artist if you don't look like an artist people don't see you as an artist that's the whole point we've all made these mistakes the content on the page needs to switch to artist it has to and that's part of what i was going through as well right is that i'm an inspirational figure i do a lot of motivational speeches i went to schools and i've spoke to kids and i went to homes and i spoke to kids i was offered a ted talk and all of these things you know i love motivating you guys it is part of what i do but i'm only able to motivate you because all right. of all of my music experience and my passion with music and my passion in helping others with the music it's all the same to me but the problem is it's not all the same when it comes to my Instagram and my profiles. So I had, I had motivational videos on my page. I can't have a bunch of motivational videos on my page. No, the page needs to show I'm an artist and secondary is motivation. So it needs to show look, uh, look like an artist and then motivate on the secondary, okay? They need to look at my page and go, he's a music artist. Before they look at it and go, oh, he's an inspirational figure that's also a rapper. I don't want to say inspirational figure first. You want somebody to hit your page and go, I know what this guy does. He's a rapper. He's clearly a rapper. Look at it right there. Rapper. He's got his, his bio talks about how he's a rapper. Uh, there's his accolades. Uh, and uh, here's the link straight to his Spotify and stuff, which is the only kind of link you should have is one leading to your music and nothing else. Okay? You really need to consider that. I don't want people mistaking you for anything but an artist. The longer you show the world that you're an artist, the more you manifest it, the more people see you as an artist, the more that their energy feeds off on you and you start seeing yourself as an artist. There's something really cool that I've learned in some entrepreneurial books. And one is, think about how you feel when you get dressed up, when you look real nice, you look real fly. You know what I'm saying? You got some new clothes on, you got your new Nikes on, you got your new shoes. How do you feel in that moment? You feel amazing, right? You feel more confident, right? The clothes that we wear prepare us for what we are becoming. If you're always dressing like a rapper, what's gonna happen? Like I just said, you're always gonna feel like a rapper. It's the same thing. If I put you in a business suit right now, or if you ever ever went to prom, or you ever go to any school dances, when you dress up like that, you feel like a different person because you're in that. You're now in that mode because you're wearing it. When I put my suit on, I feel I already feel like a businessman. But when I put my suit on, because I'm like a business, I feel like a businessman rapper. Like right now, I got my chains on, got my jewelry on. But when I put a suit on, I'm just I'm, like, I'm a businessman. I don't feel like a rapper. I don't feel like a rapper really at all. I'm like, bitch, I'm a businessman because the clothes that you wear determine how you feel. Okay, you put your if you put your pajamas on, you are sleepy. You feel like I'm, I'm in my pajamas. I'm chilling. Or if you put clothes on that or your night clothes are sleeping, and you're wearing them all day. What do you feel? You feel a little bit lazier than you usually would. That's why as soon as I wake up, I have clothes next to my studio. I put the clothes on so that I go right into artist mode. And a lot of people don't think about that stuff. They don't think about doing that. They don't understand that the way they dress affects them mentally. Do if it. you can put shoes on and feel fly, you don't think that you dressing properly before you go to work or go to the studio or even step in your own home studio like I do isn't going to affect that. So start dressing like an artist and you're going to feel like an artist. And I think I'm going to make a whole other video on that. But yeah, I think that's it. Those are the three things. It was a lot, but it's a lot of valuable information. I really need you guys to be understanding because the mistakes that have been made. The Rapper Shortcut has relaunched. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link below for it or go to rappershortcut.com slash relaunch, okay? Or, and also, if you haven't got the calendar yet, you can get that for free. Rappershortcut.com slash go, 100% free for that calendar. You don't, have to pay, you don't have to pay for it at all. It'll teach you what to do in your career step by step, okay? All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I really feel like today, this was a really good video, so I really hope it helped you out, okay? If you have any questions, ask below. Because uh, I'm answering these questions that people are giving out. By the way, the guy who asked this question was C Do G Davy. So S E A D O G D A V Y. Just so you know. 
okay? I believe in y'all. Hope you believe in me. Go check out my music. Go, go to my Spotify. I'm booming right now. Look at those monthly listeners, okay? I'm blowing up, okay? I believe in y'all. Keep hustling, gang. I'll see you at the top. Then it's only right I say I'm out. Yeah. Shark Tank is probably all this money or the cars only parking. I've been eating good, stacking chips like a car game. Walk around knowing none of shit like a fart stand. All my shit is new age. I'm new way.